Okay, CP family, we're still cooking. So we're going to continue uh, with getting our menu together that we're going to take on the road with us uh, while we go to um, Florida. And this is our back to school uh, bash uh, that I normally do for the kiddos. Uh, and it's a reward. I try to reward them every year for good behavior. And uh, this year we're going to go to Florida and um, I'm going to take the kiddos to Disney, um, Epcot Center, Animal Kingdom, and uh, the beach. So I'm going to try to make some good memories um, for my kiddos. So the first thing we're going to do in this um, second dish that I'm making is um, my breakfast toast. So I'm going to make my seasoned um, eggs that I use for my breakfast toast. And you can use how many eggs um, you need for your family. I'm cooking for about 16 people and uh, I'm gonna do it in two batches. So I'm gonna scramble my eggs and so, um, and I'm also gonna add some evaporated milk. And um, that's gonna, um, oh, I don't know, it gives my eggs a, a better taste. I like the evaporated milk in there, um, along with the seasonings that I use. And it also uh, makes a sandwich awesome. So we're just gonna stir this all together. That's our first step in doing our breakfast um, sandwich. Um, this is our nature's best um, seasoning. Um, it has like garlic, pepper, um, onion powder, I think, and um, in there, but I, I, I love the taste of it. And then this is the garlic butter season that I use. So, um, and I use a little onion powder. So we're gonna get all of that stirred up in here, and then we're gonna um, start to cook our eggs for our breakfast toast. So that's our first step. Okay, so um, now that we got our egg mixture um, incorporated with our seasonings, um, I make two types of breakfast sandwiches. One breakfast sandwich I make where my um, veggies are incorporated into my egg, like our carrots, um, cabbage, onion, green onion. For this particular breakfast sandwich, I'm not gonna add the um, mixture in there, like the veggies. Some of my kiddos like veggies in their um, egg sandwiches and some of my kiddos don't. So I'm making the ones without the veggies first. And I'm gonna use the sliced brioche bread and usually the, you can get this at any one of your supermarkets. Um, we're just gonna use this. I like the sweetness um, in, this, in this as well. It's kind of like a sweet and savory type of taste. Um, you can also use whatever type of bread you have, your Texas toast or um, regular bread. If you can't get the brioche bread, it's fine. We're going to use turkey polis sausage today. And this is my um, bacon butter jam that I like to uh, put on my sandwiches as well. And you can also see a link down below in the description of the video uh, for how to make the um bacon butter jam too so now let's get to it we're gonna start to prepare our eggs I like to use a copper uh, pan for my eggs but any nonstick you know pan that you have it's okay and I like to cook my eggs on medium heat 
I put a little bit of butter in here. I let my butter get warm. If it burns a little bit, it's okay. It's just like a little nuttier flavor. Tastes good as well. So we're gonna let our butter uh, melt, let our pan um, heat up, and then we're gonna start to cook our eggs. Okay, so now that we got our butter just about melted in our pan, um, we're going to get our eggs and we're going to pour those um, in our pan. And as you can see, the, egg, uh, the butter is kind of bubbling, it's ready to go. And uh, once we, uh, look, get this all ready to go right, we don't wanna have our handle out there for one of my little kiddos to uh, bump into the pan. So I'm just moving that um, handle in there, got our eggs pouring in here, and uh, we're gonna start to pull from the side. So I'm just gonna take my spatula, go around the side of the pan, and then I'm going to um, pull inward. So I'm gonna go out from the outside into the middle of the pan. And I like to cook my eggs like this. Um, this is like an induction uh, countertop. Um, so it's kind of cooks from the center out to the outside. So I just like to pull them in. And then we're gonna keep doing that until we get our, our um, eggs all cooked. And uh, we're gonna set those eggs aside. And then we'll start on our next step, okay? okay so the magic of television <laughs> we are just about done with finishing our eggs um as you can see they're nice fluffy i like my eggs to be um yellow not like a lot of brown or you know like when your eggs burn and you pull it up from the bottom of the skillet so um this is just about the right consistency that you'll need for your sandwiches. You don't want any egg running. Um, you want it all to be cooked. okay they're all done now look at that no runny eggs but nice and fluffy and they're going to um sit just right on the sandwich you'll you'll see they're they're just the, the right consistency that you want to use so that your egg doesn't fall out the side of your um of your sandwich and we're gonna set it aside and get to our next um step so I'm just dancing around, y'all. I was listening to a little music in the mood of cooking. <laughs> and so I use a different pan for my uh, to cook my meat. And this pan I'm using, uh, we're just going to cook our polo sausage. And I'm just using turkey polo sausage. You can use bacon, ham, uh, turkey, whatever. Um, you know meat you want to use on on your sandwich some people uh some of my kiddos uh like salsa um avocado stuff <laughs> so it's just whatever you want on here but for me we're just going to make the breakfast sandwiches simple um because we're going to be holding them in our hand while we're driving because we're going to drive over into the morning you know into the wee of the night because we're going to start out 
um, around about midnight driving and it's going to take us into the morning. So we'll have all our breakfast sandwiches and it won't be so messy right in the car. Okay, we're going to check our sausage just to make sure it's browning. Um, you want your sausage to brown on each side. And this step, you can cook it, you know, if you want your sausage to be a little uh, browner. I like mine to just be just enough, not not too um, burnt on the, on the sides, but just enough to um, cook the sausage and, and um, you know, bring out the juices and the flavors of the sausage takes about 15 minutes or so to um, cook your sausage and then once you got your sausage cooked you'll just sit your sausage over to the side and then you'll start to assemble your um, breakfast sandwiches and as i said these are great for taking on trips or just um if if you're a working mom like i am sometimes i cook the uh, breakfast sandwiches so my kiddos could just go in the refrigerator um, grab one out, put it in a microwave, uh, put it on there for a minute, and they could just head out the door um, to, you know, to the bus stop or on their way to school. And um, sometimes I even grab one when I'm, uh, when I'm getting ready to um, start work. Um, simple, easy. Um, I wrap them up like in some uh, parchment paper where they can hold in their hand or paper towel. Um, real simple, easy sandwiches to make. Okay, now our sausage is all done and um, we're not gonna wash our pan, you guys. Um, you see those little, um, what they call it, caramelization? <laughs> In the bottom of this pan, I want that to flavor my butter. Um, I'm going to take my toast and put in there, and I'm going to toast my bread that I'm going to use for my breakfast sandwiches. And I'm just going to pull that flavoring um, up from the bottom of the pan uh, with the butter and incorporate that and get that flavor on my toast. It, it, it is awesome. I'm telling you, it makes it makes it so good to have that uh, in, in flavor on there. You know, just build up on those flavors, right? The sweet and the savory. So the savory from the sausage and then the brioche bread has kind of like a little sweet taste to it. And um, we're going to go ahead and get this toast toasted so we can um, get to assembling these sandwiches. And you want it just like so. Uh, I like mine a little golden brown for my toast. And I'm just sopping up the rest of this butter in here, you guys. So um, once we get all our toast done, our next step is to get our sandwiches assembled. Okay, now we are just about done with our um, step three, and that was just getting our bread toasted. And we are almost done with toasting this um, loaf of bread. I just want to get all of that uh, toasted and stacked up so I can just go um, 
from sandwich to sandwich and um, get them all packed up and ready to go. Okay, now we got all our toast buttered and, and toasted on the stove. So now we're going to get ready to put these breakfast sandwiches together. And here we go. <laughs> okay, first thing we did, y'all, we got our toast. Um, as you all can see, the, the egg, I'm just um, cutting it into squares in my pan. Um, put my cheese on. My next thing, I'm going to grab some sausage. Put that on top of there. And I'm going to take some of my bacon butter jam. And I'm just going to put that on my bread instead of like jelly or uh, syrup to make it less messy. So that we can hold it in our hand, right? And um, of course, as I advise, you guys can put any toppings that you want on your breakfast sandwich. Um, but if you want to try this breakfast sandwich, it's awesome. You got to try it. And um, we're just going to get that bacon butter on there. And we got our sandwich all done, you guys, and ready for me to wrap it up and pack it up so we can get to going on our trip. Okay, CP family, we are just about at the end of our video, but y'all know what to do. Um, hit that like button, uh, support the family, support the kiddos, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on so much more and enjoy um, the content that we're going to be bringing to you. Um, also hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything and you're always notified and kept up to pace on what we got going on over here um, at the CP family. Now you can also go to our website. You'll be able to see more blogs, more information about the CP family. You can also donate. Um, and what that's used for usually to take the kiddos on trips or to help them transition out into uh, adulthood is more than welcome. Um, it's www.thecpfamily.com. You'll also see links below. Um, also, I'll have the recipes. We'll put those in the uh, description box uh, down below how to cook the eggs and what type of sausage. Um, that we use to make our breakfast sandwiches. And without further ado, don't forget to comment and uh, share your recipes from your family to mine. And until next time, <laughs> take care. Bye.